everyone, it's Dr. Gaines at the Melville School District with our weekly update, although not really going to include any data this week. I mean, if you watch what's going on on the news, you, you know that cases have been going up. So here's kind of what we've been seeing over the last few weeks was we saw the cases go down through the end of August and into September. And then it looked like the county kind of increased capacities in bars and restaurants. That, and then we saw the, you know, that little cold spell we had in early October. And cases kind of started going up around October 6th and 7th, just kind of slowly on a rise. And then at Halloween, the gatherings that folks had both indoors and it looks like outdoors really pushed the cases up, almost just, just skyrocketed in cases. So what we found and when we talked to our infectious disease consultants is that where you gather, whether or not you gather, and what mitigation strategies you have in place when you do have those gatherings really does matter and how the virus will spread. The infectious disease folks continue to tell us that schools are not the super spreaders locations, largely due to all the mitigation strategies that we have in place. And we've seen and we've talked about closing classrooms before buildings and buildings before the district. We've certainly had to close classrooms. We've not had to close a building but nearly every day in the media reports that I get from around the state, it seems like schools are having to close because of workforce shortages. That may be teachers and that can be bus drivers. We, we've seen districts deal with both of those. And we've also seen just a lot of change this week. Uh, early in the week, the county issued some new, new recommendations, not really guidance, but recommendations and then today the state issued new guidance around quarantines and you know what's happened now is that the state guidance and the county guidance and the CDC guidance have become a little bit more incongruent so we're still trying to work through all of those lots and lots of changes lately and probably we're going to get some more county changes between now and Monday. Those may come today, those may come Friday, it may be Monday until we see them, but we're anticipating that that will happen. So we are going to make a change to what we're doing, and that change is going to be at the high school. Middle school and elementary are going to remain in our blended model. That's what we've been hearing from health officials is let's try to keep elementary and middle school in. So we are going to move high school back to the connected model starting on Monday, November 16th. And we are going to keep high school in that connected model until after we come from come back from the break. So we're going to bring them back tentatively to the blended model on January 5th. So no changes to elementary, no changes to middle school, but we are making a change to high school. Thank you all for taking the time to watch today. Please continue to be diligent in adhering to mitigation strategies, which include wearing a mask, being socially distant, avoiding the large gatherings. So please do all of those things and hopefully we can put the virus uh, in a decline. So thank you all. Hope you have a great rest of the week and a good weekend.